Okay, hi everybody. This is the Math 20-1 Trigonometry Review. This is question 33B. And we just got to identify all the different pieces of these triangles here. Now, you're given that V is equal to 18, S is equal to 14, and v, angle V is equal to 36. Let's make the triangle VST, whatever, VST. So, I tell you what, let's, let's do it like this. Well, let's write down, um, we got angle V, okay, uh, angle S, angle T, and then we're going to have little v, little s, little t. Okay, so there's all the information that we have to find. And I'm going to draw the triangles uh, perhaps uh, later here. Uh, first of all, notice that in the information that we're, we're given here, I do have the, the angle and the side opposite it uh, when, with v. Okay? Angle V and little v. And then I've got side S, which means the only thing right now that I can solve for is, is big S. Actually, it would probably make more sense right now if I was to fill in everything that I've got. I know that regardless of what we're doing here, angle V is 36. I know that little v is 18. And little s is 14. Okay. So now I'm going to set up, I'm going to set up the sine law. So I'm going to set up 18 over the sine of 36 is going to equal 14 over the sine of s. Okay, now I'm going to cross multiply and divide here real quick. So I'm going to get the sine of s is going to equal okay, uh, 14 times the sine of 36 all over 18. Okay, so I'm going to like cross multiply and divide, which is a, a pretty standard here. And now what, what I want to do here is I actually want to get the, the decimal equivalent of that. So I want to go 14 times the sine of 36 divided by 18. I want to figure out what this is equivalent to, and it's equivalent to 0 0.4572. Now, when I solve for S here, I don't know whether the intention here is for this to be an acute angle or an obtuse angle. I don't know whether this is quadrant one or quadrant two. Okay, so when I take the inverse sine of that answer, I'm going to get 27 degrees, and then I'm also going to get, I'm going to get uh, 180 minus 27, whoops, minus 27 equals 153 degrees. Okay, so now let's go back up to our little chart here. So this could be 27 degrees, this could be 153 degrees. Now, let's take a look at this first one here. If it is in fact uh, 36 and 27, so 180 minus 36 minus 27, okay, angle T would be 117 degrees, not a problem. Okay, I am totally okay with that. If, if S is actually supposed to be this uh, obtuse angle, so 180 minus 36 minus 153, Ooh, not so good. T is supposed to be negative 9 degrees. Well, that doesn't make any sense. So basically, that second uh, triangle there doesn't exist. We're only going to get one solution here, which means we've now only got one more step to, to apply here. I've got to now find little t. So I'm going to set up the sine law again. So we'll get 18 over the sine of 36. I'm going to use information from the beginning of the question will be little t over the sine of 117 degrees. And once again, this is just a, it's just a proportion, so it's just a matter of cross multiplying. So 18 times the sine of 117 divided by the sine of 36. And to the nearest tenth, it's going to be 27.3. And so we can just sketch this out here. Here's uh, v, s, t, and this is what is 27.3. Uh, sorry, I should put that up here as well. 27.3. Put that up with my the rest of that data. Uh, s is 14. V is 18. And in this case, it that makes perfect sense that the largest side would be opposite the largest angle. And so that all looks very consistent. Just one solution.